Yo, Long Hairs, El Rubio here at the Long Hairs Global HQ, and we are celebrating 2022, closing it out in festive holiday fashion. I'm with El Moreno, El Sicario, El Narstavo, El Afonte, El Garvinsky, and El Travieso, the in house Long Hairs staff. The guys who are doing it every single day. And speaking of El Travieso, you've seen some pictures. You've seen some little highlights of this guy. Who is this handsome feller back there? Travis Nishiyama, well, please introduce yourself. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Introduce yourself to the long hairs. What's going on, guys? I'm El, Tra El Travieso. Excuse me. Um, I've been here at long hairs about a month, a little over that. Um, I'm the flow filament specialist, so anything you guys order... I'm more than likely going to be packaging it and sending it out your way. Keep an eye out for some special notes. If you order something cool I like, I might leave you a little note. But essentially how I kind of got hooked up here, um, as you guys may or may not know, they were a big sponsor of the San Diego Goals last year. And me, um, I'm personally a pretty big hockey fan, so I try to go to as many Goals games as I can. And I just so happened to get lucky and caught the long hairs coming in as they were uh, – it was uh, the goals. We caught home. you, bro. <laughs> you guys caught me. Nah, 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 mate. Um, it was the goals last home game last year, and uh, they, they came in. Elefante here came up to me. He was like, yo, man, I really love your hair. At the time, it was a little longer, um, and he gave me a hair tie. He was like, you know, check us out. We uh, were on the boards over behind the goal. Um, here's, our, here's our Instagram, long hairs on IG. Check it out. Um, and the long, the long, the long hairs, hairs excuse yeah, me. Act like you've been the, there yeah, before, yeah. Travis. Don't you know, don't mind the long hairs. And uh, but I, I found them after the game, and I, I just thought it was really cool what they did. I, I checked out you know the culture they they kind of bring to the scene, and it's it was something I really liked. So I I made sure to let them know how appreciative I was, and I kind of just followed them on Instagram for a few months thereafter, and then pretty recently I saw. Uh, El Moreno here, he had a, they put up the job posting, and I knew it was the perfect fit for me. I was looking to get out, my old job, um, and, and it just it ended up working out well, and now I'm here. I'm stoked to be part of the team. Hell yeah, bro. Sick. Hell okay. yeah. Sick I think it's safe tight. to say we found the right guy. How many orders do you think you did this week? Uh, this week? This week's been pretty heavy. You know, we got Christmas coming up. Make sure, to guy, make sure you guys – at the, at the time this comes out, it might be a little late, but get your orders in. Um, this week specifically, I've, I've probably done at least 1,200 orders, so Damn. a little a, a Pumping few. out the orders. A few, a couple. If you are getting an or order in your hands right now, chances are El Travieso sent it your way, caused it to locate on your position. Thank you for the intro. Boys, it's good to be here together. We're blessed to be amongst kindred and kin, cracking some holiday beverages, enjoying ourselves in our really last evening together for 2022. And just to give us a little bit of a format for the show tonight, have a chance for everyone to think back on a memorable moment from the year, something that was unique or uh, that you especially remember. And let's kick it off. What do you say, Elefante? Yeah. <laughs> oh, special moment. Um, uh, what are your favorite moments of the favorite year? Favorite moments. Well, if you will. Uh, I celebrated my official one year here uh, as a member of the Long Hairs team. Uh, it, back in September, I believe, uh, was one year. That was a pretty big milestone. Um, and no signs of slowing up. Uh, and, uh, I think something that I've kind of taken from our YouTube channel, um, on Halloween, I was Willie Nelson. So I consulted the long hairs YouTube channel for a tutorial on how to tie Willie Nelson's braid, Willie Nelson's braids, which I was, uh, for Halloween. And I got so many compliments that they have now become a staple in my hair care routine pretty much weekly almost bi-weekly. Uh, it's how I got kind of this kind of wavy, sort of almost crimped look today. Um, but yeah, I've been rocking the braids for for the last month or so, pretty consistently, once, twice a week. And uh, yeah, that's a huge highlight for me. It's been a massive confidence booster. Um, 
And dude, yeah. been bringing the swag, man. Bringing the swag, dude. I've been thinking too. I've been thinking we should be. We all kind of have our own unique styles, but we should be doing like a like a hair tie of the day. H T O D. Oh, heck yeah. like a H T O D post, that. you know? Yeah. Where you know, show the out, show the fit. Yeah. Show the hair tie that's kind of accompanying, you know, what's, nice. what collection is it from? Maybe we'll bring that to you in 2023 in, in our kind of upcoming social Thanks efforts. Really speaks to what the long hairs is about, of like having long hair and trying different things and finding what's good for your style and learning how to do, like uh, taking the extra time. It's got to take at least 20, 30 minutes to do the braids. Yeah, yeah. We do it once a week, and it's fucking awesome when you come in and you're like all right this guy's juiced up he's doing stuff with his hair and then a couple days later he's got those luxurious waves which we all just crave so it's awesome dude i seeing you coming in with the braids is uh i don't know it's just reinforces what the long hair is is here to do like let's do dope shit with our hair absolutely <laughs> Yeah, I think that's like one thing I want to focus on uh, in 2023 is to do more dope shit and focus on the style a little bit more. You know, what's the signature style? Because yeah. I'm more of like a just T-shirt, like wear whatever I got kind of in the closet type thing. But like going out, actually like what picking things that I think, you know, I feel like make me look like a badass. Because I, I do think there's an importance to that, too. You know, I, I've always had like a very casual kind of approach. But I don't know, the older I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of being like, you know what, I got to fucking put my signature on this thing. Style is a whole other yeah. podcast, yeah. dude. I mean, yeah. style is a whole other podcast. Yeah, yeah. All right, Gus, uh, spotlight's on you. Go. Uh, I'm not as cool as you guys. I don't have a style. Got the <laughs> oh, your highlight bod. of the year, bro. What's, what's your what's highlight of the year? Of the year? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sorry. <laughs> Um, I mean, highlight, there's really, uh, I can't think of a highlight, honestly. And uh, I just think the whole transition, (laughs) no, I think the whole transition from that old warehouse to the new warehouse uh, in itself is a highlight to what it's become now. I mean, after, you know, after our Chris, our long mains and candy canes and just seeing everything, how it's turned out, I I was just like blown away. And it's like, you know, I was like, oh, we have all this warehouse and, you know, it's just piping and white walls and da-da-da. But, like, we've created something, like, for us, you know. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, you, so you come in here. People come in here, <clears throat> come to visit or, you know, when we had Long Mains and Candy Canes. And they come in here and they're like, holy crap, like, this is awesome. Like, when they actually see everything because from the outside it's just another warehouse, you know, next to the next other one. But when they come on here, they're just like, dude, this is cool. Like, you guys really made it. The long hair is like, you know. So uh, I'm just proud that we've gotten to this point. Uh, and, uh, and you know, we're stoked with it. And, and it actually really does uh, motivate us and influence us like, just to keep going. And just we have a spot to hang out, talk. And it just it works with everything. Not The space works with us in order to continue and accomplish what we do and i think that's huge like that's awesome like you know it's just not go to our office and work no but like we could hang out and like do things as well just like what we're doing now that may have been the most eloquent thing you've ever spoken <laughs> no, Gus. No, don't put record that. breaking wow. gus that was incredible <laughs> Dude, you didn't say anyways one time. Oh, wow. Gus, that was extraordinarily <laughs> eloquent. Excellent job. I well, as you moved. know, I am the awkward guy, but uh, I'm deeply right moved. I'm feeling pretty good this right now. This is a special moment right now. I'm so proud. I'm like, deeply <laughs> moved. Let me ask you, of all the design projects that you worked on this year, oh, wow. hundreds, possibly thousands, or hundreds <laughs> of thousands, what okay. is uh, one that sticks out to you, one of the designs that That's you loved, uh, one of your favorites? Yeah. I mean, I get my hand dipped in every single project, right? So it's hard to even think of something. Uh, I mean, mm, the it I, I don't have an answer like right what off the bat. Or what's, what's New bottles. Uh, yeah. I, no, okay, okay. Um, I think it's more about the uh, what I learn uh, and how I could advance in what I do. So like being able to quickly mock something up or do something. Uh, uh, like creating gifts or you know blog posts or just knowing that having the knowledge to be able to pull these things off is more valuable to me 
and rather than a highlight because it looks cool or whatever but like just saying oh i could do that and then people are like i don't know what the fu- what the hell you're doing but okay do it and then i just do it and it's just like uh just having that knowledge and the confidence to do certain things and uh in a, and pretty quickly actually and then you know just being able to answer questions uh is valu- more valuable to me valuable to, valuable to me <laughs> sorry and uh, but uh, a highlight i really like uh, the only reason i'm going to say this is because i like the reaction from the stanky wicks exactly. yeah yes. and um it's it's a highlight because i don't think that many weddings so i made some hair ties for uh, you know a couple in their wedding um and they distributed them throughout you know to all the guests and um i think it's very is your unique <laughs> No, I know, no, I know, I know. No, but I like. But the reason it's a highlight because I like the response, and it made me feel really nice. Somebody telling me that's not, uh, you know, part associated of the associated with us. Yeah, or, associated yeah, sure. at all. But when I, you know, during Long Mains and County Games, they came up to me and they didn't even. Um, uh, uh, sorry, it was Kim. You Kim. Yeah, I, I never. Yeah, I never met her. Um, and uh, during Long Mains and County Games. Uh, she was talking to me and she didn't realize I was the one that had designed them. And so when her husband, um, Tim, Maddie. Maddie, Maddie, sorry, I forgot. I'm horrible with names. Sorry. sorry. Um, Maddie was like, Hey, he's the one that did, did the hair ties. And I was just like, she was like, Oh my God, the people still asking for them and they want more. And I'm like, Chris might have some stored away or something, uh, to go ask him and this and that. Uh, I, it's, it's just a, such a unique experience for me and that's why I, I value it and it's more of a you know highlight for me because it's I never expected it nor has it ever happened in the past I don't want to go too far into it but that was awesome but uh, besides that uh, it's really the continuous knowledge that I, I continue to acquire over the years uh, that's going to be valuable in my future personal development exactly that was well awesome, articulated. Mm-hmm. Um, Excellent job, Gus. Thank you. I have to pee now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I had to break that up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Sean's got something here. But go ahead. No, no, I, I got nothing. Oh, I was just going to say, like, you know, around here, it, I, get, I, I see what he's saying. Like, for the outside perspective, uh, particularly that, you know, no one knows what he's talking about as far as those hair ties. I've never seen them or anything. But just hearing, uh, you know, really, really positive feedback. I think oftentimes here we, you know, we do, we have a project or a thing or a deadline, we do it and it's like everybody says good job, great job guys, or you know, good, you know, whatever. Everybody kind of says good job and then we just move on. And it's not like you, you really maybe get some of the love that you uh, desire or that, that you, you put need, in. need, uh, I guess, you know. Yeah. Um, I think everybody has a different like way around like or, or need for that. I know personally myself, like I, you guys could never compliment or whatever. I'm going to be good, you know? And I think I need to get better at actually complimenting you guys at the stuff and the work and stuff you do. I've been better about that over the years, but like, I know Chris, like, you know, he needs a, he needs to do that was, that was badass. Like, it's so simple, like, but it means a lot to him. Right. But like, this is what I'm hearing from Gus and like just having an outside perspective say that. I think that's something all of us could be, you know, better at in 2023 is acknowledging each other's efforts and, you know, and who needs that little extra good game, if you will, you know, and then who doesn't? Cause like, we all don't like, but uh, you, you get what I'm saying, right? A hundred percent. And I think too, what Gus, if I can speak to like, what Gus was saying as artists and creators when we enter a space like an internal brand work where it's like you said we execute good job high five on to the next thing Mm -hmm. that's that's kind of where those things lie but to elicit and then receive back an emotion an emotional response from a from uh, the the person or client you're working for that's like the, the major payoff, like to see and feel, to really feel that like, that was all oh, so amazing. Like everyone loved it. Like that's so much different than just the, Hey dude, that was a great email. You know, right, it's, right, like, right. it's like, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a level of appreciation on a different level. It's like an emotional, 
yeah. appreciation, you know, yeah, and, okay. and I'm glad, I'm glad you got that. <laughs> yeah. We all need it. Probably not going to get it here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what, how we do get it as a team is when we do, maybe if we're not all internally, always like that was so sick, dude. You sure, it. Sure. I loved how you did that, that uh, you know, but like how we all do get accumulated as a team is when we launch something and people purchase it. And like that's our validation. And then when it's actually like lit, and then that's when all of us are on the chat. So the fire, fire emojis, gifts, freaking everything. Like we, you I know, just, that is the feedback that we okay. do desire. And I think that's how we fill that tank of what we're kind of talking about. You know, um, but along, also I think internally maybe we could work on filling each other's tanks too. Yeah. Along with what you were just saying, it was like just the new hair tie release, yeah. and like. Literally uh, within the week that it released, it's like, oh, we only have a certain amount left. It's like, oh, crap. Like, yeah. that was also really awesome. Yeah. And I was just like, wow. Yeah. Like, holiday, but but yeah, without well, you, guys, you guys' feedback, it, it couldn't have happened. Uh, right here, we got certain timelines and we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, but, like, you guys really helped motivate me and also just, like, give me really great feedback. And, uh, yeah. But I, mean, I want to move it on to Jose now. The, the designs <laughs> almost speak for themselves when yeah. you have 400 units move within eight days or something yeah. like that. It was that. a lot. Like the it was holidays quick literally too. sold out before Holy we moly. could really have them up there for a week. One so. of the dope hair tie collections of all time. Endless winners are out now too. So Endless winners Be are sure gone. Be sure to check it out. And, uh, you know, when each of us performs a project, whether it's design or video or fulfilling orders... Like, you put a piece of your heart into it, and you put a, you know, you put some energy into it each and every time. So, I agree. That 2023 is a chance for us to, like, recognize whatever we did for that, you know, uh, whatever went into that. Because a lot goes into it. We put a lot into it, guys. All of us. Everyone in this room right now puts their heart and soul into the freaking work. Yeah. And it's a beautiful thing, and it's a beautiful payoff, and recognizing each other's and energy. That's why people... That's why it is. That is the feedback that we get, is yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. fact that people come to our website and purchase our products, or come yeah. to our long mains and candy canes, or, or, or all the things. Or whatever the hell we're asking, Everything, absolutely. So that really is the ultimate payout that matters, Let's is see, how Jose's people party. respond to what we create. But uh, there's certainly something to be said for appreciating each other, guys. <laughs> and uh, everything that we put out there on the table. Let's hear <laughs> from <laughs> our warehouse manager, El Sicario. Bro, it's been a little over a year and a half since you've been on the team. And you're holding it down in our warehouse, directing traffic, causing all the things to happen that we need to happen. Uh, lo- r- proud to have you on our staff. Tell us uh, what was one of your moments, or tell us several moments, if you will. Um, for me, I was pretty stressed out about the pre sale. Yeah, like the, the we all were, but like the fulfillment side of <laughs> right, it. Right, right. And um, this year, I really began to like educate myself on just being more like, how do I be not more professional, like you know, be on time, without effective communication. But I mean, like in my role, like how, what will, what can I change or get better at where I could really call myself a pro? And so the magic word is process. And so this year was all about how can I don't want to celebrate like oh we won today or oh we won this week. It's like no we want, we got to we're gonna crank out so many wins, right? And I think that that pays to like why we don't do a lot of like words of affirmation is because we're so used to just winning. Yeah. And um, so. And thank you for saying words of affirmation because that is exactly what. Yeah, that's that is what it's uh, you know. But anyway, so so. Focusing on like, okay, I need to make it so where if it's a thousand orders today or a hundred orders today, it's not going to be a problem, right? And so that so then like I really took the time to like, okay, how are we going to pull off? Because you know we have these customers that are wait like 
hanging on by a thread of their patience at this point for their shampoo, right? And then I think we cranked out like 800 sets of shampoo in a day. And it, it was like multiple pallets. I, we have a picture somewhere. That's yeah. got that's got to get posted. Like uh, again. Yeah, 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 repost. Yeah. And like everyone was here, and we had this the the the, the daisy chain of the just you do this and you're gonna do this and and if you fuck with my process, I'll cut you, dude. Like, <laughs> scratch. I'll scratch you so hard, dude. And so <laughs> so. And then it just went flawlessly. Like honestly, there wasn't a single problem. Dude, I gotta just bring this up real quick because this is hilarious. When we were like that, like when we were, <laughs> this is so funny now thinking about it. But like when we were getting ready, like we knew the stuff was coming, the pallets were close or whatever. You like walk. It was just me and you down here, and you walked me through the process. And then you know, I was like, dude, sick man. It's like. To, to good to go we are so good to go and then you looked at me and you're like yeah and if you fucking say anything while we're doing it dude i'm gonna kill you man <laughs> and i was like i was like literally Damn, I was child. Like, bro i literally just said great job like we're good to go I'm like what the hell there's i'm like what the hell was that about <laughs> did i just get my life threatened by my employee yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like, cause like I care, man. Like I, you know, we have all these, we have so many guys that like trust us with their hard earned money. Yeah. And like, sure. I, if we get one complaint, like I take that personally, like, man, we let them down. Um, and then, so then it was like, okay, well that was, that went really well, but like, how can we make that just every day? And then fast forward to black Friday, cyber Monday. And we moved like, I don't even, it was thousands of orders over those, what, f- six days. Yeah thousands and once again there was virtually zero problem like well for anybody who's listening who there maybe the a problem you did have was your bottle could have been dinged or the leaking thing which is let's talk yeah. about this for a second because this has been an actual big issue a pain yeah, point yeah. for so, us since we've switched yeah to so, the so to clarify we we can we do like this has been my one of my main focuses for the year of just how can we protect these bottles as much as possible so that they get to your door but so we've gone through several iterations of packaging. I think we're finally on the right one. Um, it, but ultimately, the enemy gets a vote, and in this case, the enemy is UPS. So we can I can package it as as to the best of our ability. But if they're going to mishandle your package, stuff's going to break, you know. And we're going to do our absolute best to remedy that problem. But you know. We can, can only do so much. Like our, I like that you've been putting those fragile stickers on the bigger. Yeah. Stuff. Oh, yeah. There's <laughs> two five pound, or there's two like it's five pounds of like aluminum bottles, but I still put fragile on some of them. When I know, when I know, like oh, I don't know, the pump on this one might is touching a little bit. It's like okay, fragile. I, just, I started smacking fragile stickers on them, because not the bottle. The bottle can get dented, but the pumps are fragile. You know, and and like today, today <laughs> I sent out an ultimate bundle. Thank you very much, uh, customer, for ordering that. Um, and it was it's like eight pounds, right, of bottles in this one box. And I put three fragile stickers on it, and then UPS guy shows up and like consolidates all of them, and he gets because the 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 ultimate bundle was the biggest box. So he goes, he slides it over, and he goes like, and like just stacks boxes on top of it and i'm looking at him like uh, i can we- confirm sicario's intensity he threatens he threatened to scratch the ups driver when he slammed the boxes on the fragile box <laughs> he threatens to scratch me multiple times a day like i gotta yeah. watch my back man i, I wear glasses really when i'm over there fulfilling yeah. these orders not because i want to be able to see better but because they have a little bit of reflection i can like get a you know a little bit of head start if he's coming at me with his nails dude it's a split second <laughs> yeah on our uh, on our uh we have a whiteboard on the at the back of the shop and in the very top it says the beatings shall continue until morale improves and i mean that shit we're all morale covering all must improved. Improved. we're all covering our bru- we all wear long sleeves most of the time to cover our bruises from El- 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 <laughs> yes uh you're speaking to a great process with our fulfillment and how it all went according to plan and really extremely smoothly unfortunately on the back end we have had issues with the shampoo and conditioner and the other hair care products uh, leaking or the pump is not working properly and we have some issues on the back end as we've done everything we can on the front end uh so this next year 
we are resolving the problem. When you order going into next year, there's going to be a cap just that seals your shampoo, conditioner, or your hair care product, and then we'll have the pump included in there separately. Whether uh, There's just so many factors, whether it's the handling of the carrier or even the air pressure, if they're going by airline, which they had not up into that point, temperature, traveling across, sub-freezing terrain. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that are out of our control that we cannot... Yeah. account for mm -hmm. so just having that cap on there and having it sealed and then you have your pump in the box we're going to explore what we can do maybe if you don't need a pump the next time that you reorder you already have one there so we could just send it without the pump we're still trying to figure out how that might work out but we really have i would say refined our fulfillment and warehouse operations this year and it's uh, it's come a long way from yeah. the pick 'em and pack 'em days uh, back <laughs> yeah. in El Moreno's garage. Even though, even also, since I've been here, I would say the yeah. last highlight for me was uh, I, I checked today because I was we were talking to a post office rep, and uh, I've personally packaged over thirty-seven thousand orders this year. Wow. Hell yeah! Ew. Heavens, it's a lot. I have good it's enormous it's enormous that's a ton dude i mean and when you look at the names of the customers and where they're going as yeah. you go through the orders in the yep. course of the day it's just it's it's absolutely remarkable and mm -hmm. having that volume you must be the all-time leader in volume. i don't know el moreno or elnar stelvo might have something to say about that oh i've dunk on both of you get out of my house <laughs> uh and you we got like Exactly. The accumulated. Time. Hey, don't time. forget the accumulation, Total bro. Time. Total T. Uh, I do have to say, I know you wouldn't bring it up yourself, but you did a guest post this year about Veterans Day, and mm. you shared some of your own personal experience as a veteran, being a guy with long hair, how those things have commingled and existed with each other. And it was an extraordinary blog post. It gave us a chance as the long hairs to showcase like some of our personal like who we are as a team and who we are as people and not just a company and it was an awesome freaking post you shared your perspective in a really eloquent way and i think it just speaks to the brand and i i know that a lot of people commented on that post yeah, and there a was a lot engagement. of good feedback yeah. from it so it connected with a lot of people and knowing that we have a team who's willing to you know, share of themselves is uh, just it it, it strengthens it strengthens the brand, and 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 who we are. So yeah, appreciate felt, you, man. That felt pretty good, like uh, putting the blog out there, and then guys just checking in, like, oh, I was in the navy, or I was yeah. Marines too, you know. And uh, and I I made sure to go through and like respond to every single comment and all that. So that was a good one for sure. Well executed. Yeah, dude. Awesome stuff. El Moreno highlight. Ah, uh, man, there's been so much this year. I think it goes to kind of something Jose just said. And I was just thinking about here is just like, you know, all of us have no idea like what what we're doing really. I mean, when you know when you look at our titles and our roles and kind of how the company's structured and where we're at, like this just started with him and I. And then now there's a whole team and this and a whole, you know, all the stuff, right? And like, we have no clue. Like we, I mean, we know what we're doing by just learning every day. We've never but been like, here before. We've never been here before. We've never made certain decisions. We've never done these stuff. So like, you know, I think that's the biggest single highlight of this year is that there was so many hurdles. There was so many setbacks. There was so many things. It was a tough year. It was a scrappy year. We had to scrap through, you know, and not only did we build the team and get like everybody in unison and working together and doing like incredible work together. And then each individual kind of department really like honing in on optimizing and getting better and doing their thing and then you know uh just from like i guess a leadership standpoint chris and i growing a lot this year of like what does it mean to be a leader in in the team like we, we don't honestly we don't have any 
legitimate uh, official leadership training. Like the things we've learned are from the things that we have uh, experienced in our life, uh, the uh, like other leadership opportunities that we've had, maybe in smaller teams or in sports, but we've never had like a you know real hard official stuff. It's just and book. It's just books we've read and other entrepreneurs and people that we look up to and listening to them very diligently and trying to apply that to the situations that we have here. So all, at the end of the day, it's like all of us are on this even playing field of like having no idea what we're doing, but we're doing a, we're fucking figuring it out and we're fucking doing it. And this is like what the dream is about, right? And I, that is what I think my highlight is and what I'm most proud of of the, for the of this year and going into 2023 I am predicting that it's going to be a lot of the same but better like we as a team are going to be so much stronger going in cuz we are we've leveled up we got we got some muscle on us now you know and we but also we are going to be facing challenges that are a lot harder than the challenges we went through this year and then you add the great cut on top of kind of just the organic challenges that we're going to be facing as a business. Now you put on this whole charity event and everything like we're going to have a lot coming up in 2020. It's going to be the hardest year, I think, in the long hair history. Like just be ready for that. So my highlight, though, is just what we've done as a unit and all of us growing and from all the different experiences we've had in our life, somehow they have come together to work here well. And I think a lot, all of us have learned different things from each other, which has made us better and made this team better. So that's my highlight for the year. <laughs> Frick yeah, dude. <laughs> Frick yeah. Uh, just to respond to the part about not knowing like what we're doing and it is very true. Like from the very get go, since we started our marketing agency in 2014, 2013, round two creative group, we didn't know what the fuck we were doing and we figured it out. And to me, that is my definition of leadership is not knowing what to do and figuring out what we need to do and doing it and getting others on board to help us do what we need to do. It's figuring it out. And we all started this thing not knowing, and on a broad landscape, we all f started not knowing how to walk right? or, yeah. We all have our certain skills we know a lot about. But exactly. But when it comes to what we're doing here specifically, it is, you can say, we don't know. And I, I would say, is this mic good? No, I'm saying. Whatever, he's got it. Oh, oh, I see. I would say we are marketing professionals and yet we didn't start as marketing, but we still don't know the, uh, we, we are still figuring it out as we go. And that is leadership is figuring out what we need to do next. What the hell do we need to do next? <laughs> and how do we accomplish getting that done? And so, yeah, that resonates with me. Absolutely. Building the team. It's just, uh, yeah, it's been, a year like no other that we've had really in the long we never had a year like this where the team has grown and developed and the growing pains that we've gone through and with the space as well all those things it's uh it's a new year every year and 2023 is going to be laden with challenges equal to or greater than those we have faced and overcome in 2022 but we got the squad. We got the squad. Hell yeah. Gang. Uh, highlight from Garvinsky? Garv, dude. Haven't heard. He's on the OBS. Oh, He's the guy managing the tech. Juggling two things at once He's right doing now. doing a lot. Paying attention to you guys. Making, you guys. making sure you guys look and sound good. And then also I'm formulating man. a story off the top of my head. But coming into 2022, transitioning from the old warehouse to this one was definitely uh actually you know what? i want to go with two. First one specifically our transition from the old warehouse chula vista to this one in barrio logan and that itself was seeing a company go from a tiny room into a large mansion 
and this place has been transformed into our own Willy Wonka Long Hairs Factory. Yes. And what's great is that uh, we, everyone had some skill to bring onto the table. Yes, it has been said that we were just figuring it out, but we embraced our strengths, applied it, multiplied it, you know, triple, quadruple, and then brought it together. And this leads into all the products coming in <laughs> and uh, all the delays, everything we had to overcome. And then finally, to wrap it all up, the best memory or highlight to solidify everything that happened throughout the year was to bring all this shit together. We had so much to overcome. And yes, you know, sometimes you got to celebrate. And we did that with Long Mains and Candy Canes 20. 22. 100%. Garf, way to, way to say it. I think that's what the Long Mains Candy Canes was, uh, was all the stuff that we're talking about. It was our chance to, to you know, cut loose, celebrate, be proud of what we did. Um, and I just can't thank you guys enough, you know? And uh, I, what another thing I want to say is, like, I know each individual guy has also had, like, their challenges of, like, figuring out where that how this whole thing works you know from if you look back just one year or let's go a year and a half from like where we were right now like how much have we grown how much have we leveled up it's freaking crazy dude it's crazy so like what we have here is very special and we do this for the next several years not only is this team going to be like doing amazing things but that is going to provide and and be doing amazing things for you guys in the community and you know that's what drives us is serving you guys i uh, think you could also relate like in our personal lives you know three we both have three kids and just growing and just becoming a uh not just a better father but like better person and getting you know you, you grow you're young and then you get older and there's things that kind of stick and some things that you're like i gotta let this go great everything however garv you're not off the hook you only spoke like 25 uh. words so <laughs> i want to hear just a little bit more from you whether it was the charity ball or whatever we did you did extraordinary work this year uh give us just a little more insight into what it was like for you i'm glad you brought up the charity ball that was freaking awesome to see where all of our donations go what we do and how the customers interaction like the guys all our all our purchases all our donations where it goes that was pretty uh enlightening man it was, it was amazing and it that is the real motivation to know that what we do has a good cause we're not just doing this oh rah rah we're long hairs you know it's we're helping people next year we're gonna get the whole Yes, we gotta get the whole team the next year. Ball next year. Yes. Hey, when you're doing the intro on the, when you're doing the intro on the video, and you're thinking about the people who are gonna watch this video. What are you thinking about the people when they're gonna click on YouTube and watch whatever the long hairs has? You know, uh, since you're on that topic, um, I'm gonna digress slightly on the YouTube section. Like this year, I've been really paying attention to the comments. I've been really been able to I've been able to interact and a lot of you guys are really uh just really into this brand I'm just like my eyes just get bigger just like whoa you know like we are really speaking to a group of like dope guys and we get haters in there and that's what you know makes it fun it's fine yeah hey we sell we sell haters haters and we're ready just as many products as our lovers do yeah do you have fun in the editing bay when you're oh you want to go specific in the, in the film yeah you know it's funny so elefante and i have discussed this editing is like the it's a lab laborious, laborious it's like being a sculptor in the back background but i have a enormous amount of patience for it and i gotta admit i i do enjoy it especially for the long hairs because most of the videos that you see that have been coming out since 2021 have been, oh, crafted, sick as fuck. Have been crafted by me and i i 
add a little signature signature touch on certain certain ones and uh kind of proud of that so i appreciate you guys giving me the autonomy dude garb you have made like the video game here has been stepped up so so huge thank you and uh you know from just the early day like years before you when you you know before you were the video guy like i mean i was doing the editing and stuff i i could you know feel what you're talking about but like there's such pride that comes out of that final export and you get Mm. to show everybody and it's like yeah it's just so it's just such a crispy uh piece of of work that mm-hmm. every video is just a layer on top, you know, just no. yeah. another notch into the into the wall. Can you uh, think of a construction analogy like a, a position that's similar to editing? Like what do you think out of construction or any of the skilled labor? Uh, I would jobs? say it's a lot like laying block. Yeah. I mean, you look you got to make sure like here, here's everything, the space you're working with. Yeah. Here's everything I got. I got all my material and now I got to put it together perfectly. And if I, you know, if there's, if there's wide gaps or there's you know weird things here and there, like I'm going to have issues. If I got to cut something, then I cut it to make it good. Wait until you see the core values wall blog post (laughs) video that that's going to be the next level. I'll tell you guys. I was going to pose a question to everybody because we were talking about Garb's achievements. What was your favorite video thus far for this year yeah. that Garb produced? Charity Ball. So if I'm going to go first. I already went. <laughs> Too late. I just stole it. I'm going to fucking scratch you, dude. <laughs> it's all love, guys. My it's all love. My favorite video was the vlog for when we moved into the new spot. Yeah, that was dope. That one was special, dude. It that had just dope. the whole vibe. At the end, I was kind of like... Dude, I'm like trying not to cry. That's yeah. dope, man. Because that that whole thing was like kind of stressful. Audience but choice would, but like the way that the video ended, it was like all of a, it was all love, dude. And it was like we did it. We're here. This is the next iteration. You know, what about you guys? Tons of love. My favorite was the Viking Braids video because <laughs> it looked dope and it was just like perfect. It was per- it looked phenomenal. Everything was stellar, and I had big effort. Like to for me to be able to actually execute the Viking braid was like <laughs> massive, but I can be difficult to film with, I'm sure. And Garv like made it so easy for me. And if I wanted to retake or whatever, he just had all the things. Like so, I would say the whole production and the final product of the Viking braids video was uh, just great experience. You could also say start to finish. you could also say it was memorable because you were in it too. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> no, I was no, in it. Like <laughs> having to do that I was under duress. I had to get home for Halloween. <laughs> Everything. Uh Garb, I think uh, great question Jose, but uh, for me the, the uh I think of my final hair update Oh that yeah, video, like not the whole hair update part, like yeah. whatever, scratch that. But like the whole front part of that was so <laughs> freaking fun and funny and all the stuff. Like the Jose, Jose's desk thing, still <laughs> I'm cracking up about that. Like that was just so good. <laughs> really? <laughs> so we like, had a this cribs was when we just finally like got a baseline of the of the warehouse and like. I, you know, did a whole walkthrough of MTV the crib thing. style. Yeah, it was like MTV crib style. And then you were at your oh, desk. The- and then he was like, I was, yes. I was like, yeah, Jose. So this is Jose. This is his desk. Uh, <laughs> this thing's electric, right? And you're like, yeah, watch this. And his face is dead serious. No, no, you added a thing, like an overlay. It was like, oh, yeah, it was a robotic like, voice that said, like, activating. Yeah, it was like, activating. And it was all, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dad Favorite video, Gus? Um, I, um, <clears throat> the one you were in? <laughs> um, clarifying no, shampoo. I, I, clarifying shampoo, doc. Somebody, okay, so Wonder. I am right next to Garvinsky uh, in his office, and uh, I usually could hear, no, I always hear uh, pretty much everything he's working on, and it's the repeated, like, so I am impressed. 50 times in a row. The repeat but, uh, of, but, uh, like, but, uh, the but, audio but, and everything. It just, like, I keep hearing. Just hear say it, you don't watch him already. And so, like, I do watch it. No, not not just that I don't watch it, but, like, I'm just, 
Okay, going back to his. He's um, still currently trying to think of a name. Get, just going back to what he said about like the patience <laughs> yeah. and doing PSA. that and <laughs> being able to just kind of yeah. rewind, listen to it again, rewind, listen to it again. Okay, uh, cut it off here. Rewind. Okay, is it good? Okay, uh, rewind. It, it's just like he he's right. Like there's a lot. This is very um, tedious, and also uh, he he really puts in a lot of time and work and effort and i and i appreciate that yeah. thanks guys so uh which video wait i got, I got <laughs> one more thing to say real quick uh that what i just said was like kind of i think of just a f- like just pure fun with yeah. that video but yeah. like i think the one of the highlights out of the last ones we've dropped for sure was sean's one about his hair care routine because that really spoke to the authenticity of like how we used to do videos in the beginning where it was like, we didn't, we just like, hey, we just had a thing we want to do. It was like, set the camera up, freaking shoot and do it. Yeah. And like, it doesn't matter time or fancy things or making it all perfect. Just do it. And you nailed that, Sean, in that video. It just, it was like a throwback to like what it's all about. It's like just talking to the guys, just doing the damn video and talking about the guys, not thinking about how we're going to, you know, tie in this and that. And exactly. This, and what's the marketing angle? Watching Sean in the shower like, no. for 25 minutes. This is raw. <laughs> raw. Yeah. Raw. Yeah. You want to see me with my shirt off? <laughs> check yeah, out my, yeah. check out my yeah. fucking yeah. uncut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see the, see me in the best shape of my life? <laughs> check out my hair care routine video. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> the transparency that we give through all, all of our products. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it isn't just not staged. Yeah. It's like, Authenticity. Creativity yeah. and authenticity is what it says on the wall. El travieso. Few so, moments to choose from, perhaps. I was, I was. Moment. But tell us what has stuck out to you. So, so definitely, it was, it was definitely the cherry ball video. I remember watching that video in bed that night when it came out. It was like one in the morning, and I woke. I, you know, I like almost fell asleep watching it, and I made sure. So you know, I came in the next. I was like, dude, Garv, like this is like. One of the most. I got a text. It, this was a great. This it was produced so well. Um, and it, like I know everybody's been going on about how how much time this guy puts in in that in that studio, but like you go in there and he's he's locked in. Um, but the other video, it was um, after he brought it up. Yeah, Sean's hair care video. It you know before I, I kind of came here, I was washing my hair far too often, and you know I wasn't you know. He kind of breaks down the science of how, how oily your scalp gets when you overwash. And, um, you know, it, it kind of helped me out. I kind of I got on a better hair care routine. I'm brushing more regularly now. And just that video kind of helped me out personally the best. But I think the the very the very well-produced Charity Ball video. Um, did you guys – was there like a – it was a vlog style kind of too, right? Yeah, it was a little vlog style. Yeah. And- just seeing after documentary. Yeah, exactly. Like I like I like the uh, the balance in that where you kind of see the raw uncut footage, but then you also get the very nice produced. Yeah. Um. It, it was it was a really good video. I like that one. It stuck with me the most. Thanks. But this section is about you. So let's get into 2022. Your best oh. highlight. Maybe when you got hired. I mean, it's okay. I mean, that is. <laughs> that, that was def- that was definitely sweet. Like that interview. <laughs> The, the interview was sweet because I, I come in and I'm, you know, I'm expecting it. Let's get over here. Speak into it, the mic. It was sweet. Directly into the mic. With it was, a it was actually voice. like it started before the actual interview because I'm texting Chris and he's, or excuse me, I'm texting El Rubio and he's, he's like, dude, just wear whatever you're going to wear to you. Cause I was working somewhere else at the time. He said, dude, just wear whatever you're going to wear to your other job. And I was like, dude, this is an interview. Like I'm your Sam's club uniform. <laughs> My, <laughs> <laughs> Show up in your Sam's Club. Yeah, I'm going to wear my freaking high vis. He's got the apron, <laughs> yeah. stains. Dude, my, my safety vest is far past beat, past oblivion. But no, it, it started before the interview where he was like, yeah, just wear whatever you're going to wear. Um, and I think that kind of spoke to the character of like, I'm not looking for something something overproduced. I'm looking for the genuine you. I, I don't care what you're going to wear. I want to hear what you have to say. Um, and that interview, it was, a, it was a sick, like it was like an hour long interview. It didn't even feel like an inter- interview. I, I felt like I was just talking to two really cool guys, and they actually cared about what I had to say. Um, I, you know, I could go on about how how much we've grown even in the past month, seeing how we how we prepare our packages. You know, like Jose was going, excuse me, Sakar was going on the metal bottles. You know, trying to get them to you guys not dented. But honestly, the the point that sticks out to me 
was just going out to eat with the guys, like the the intimate things. You know, we were going over to our local taco shop, and we're just we can't even eat our food because we're laughing so much. That's it's it's the well, fun because the burrito. You're L, it was we, actually we the got, L Squirtorito. <laughs> <laughs> I took that's took great. Out Let us lunch. know the story here. I wasn't there. The very first thing he orders, we we frequent the same taco shop like weekly, right? And the very first thing he orders is the buffalo chicken burrito, a.k.a. the squirt burrito. <sighs> Man. Just like, oh, oh, boo-boo, what is you doing? Like, <laughs> don't do that. And you said you're from San Diego, right? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> He's all in now. Hey, question for you, dude. So since you've been, you know, you're the new guy. You've only been here, you know, a short amount of time. It, you know, you, obviously we, we hired you for a reason, and you've integrated in very smoothly, and it feels like you've been here for, you know, a while. But – the stuff I was just talking about, about the trials, tribulations of the team and formulating the team and the, like a lot of the growing pains all of us have experienced this year, you kind of missed a lot of that stuff. But like, what is your perspective on what you see here? Um, I, know I, I, know, I know I missed a, a bulk, you know, a majority of all of the, the growing pains that you kind of described, but even in my short time, I've got, I feel like I've gotten a little bit of a, a fair share. We got a little beard check here. Check it. Oh, <laughs> Randy nice. Mark. Intercepted. We got a. Who is it? What's his name? We got Randy. TLH Mark. Red Zone. This Keep is the. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> no, but it, it's you know even in even in my you know little short month span here, just seeing the uh, the logistics side of fulfilling orders. It's it's I feel like it's grown a lot and um, Sicario does so much work trying to even break down the slightest little penny on how we can how we can more efficiently go about things and seeing weekly spreadsheets and analyzing all these numbers and breaking all this down um it it, it definitely goes ha- that's definitely a no go keep, keep praising go. me oh. don't stop podcast for <laughs> um you know i was i wasn't here for the big things that you, you described but sure. the the small things if you can imagine on the big scale I feel like I've definitely seen how how well we face controversy. Um, even just going going with it, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that was a that was a very big week. And just seeing everybody come in working on their days off, coming in Friday, coming in Saturday, coming in Sunday. You know, when you can be with your friends and your family, putting your feet up, get you know, preparing the Christmas tree. Um, we're in here. Working, or you could put, be packing orders, putting in work. You know. <laughs> That was your for the the people who own this co- this company are customers really. That, that they're week, our bosses. Yeah. Sick. That was the, your second they are week. Our bosses. Was that your second week on I the think job? It, I think was it was Black like Friday. My third, third or like yeah. third, three. Dude, that's it was, insane. It was Black Friday was your second full week. Full week, yeah. yeah. So I will tell you, 2023, you're going to uh, see a lot more uh, heavy duty action, and I can't wait for you to you're experience fucked. the controversy, stress, drama, and absolute. Dire uh, levels desperation. of desperation it takes to run this thing. <laughs> Pure Again, chaos. Like I, said, I, I already got to watch yeah, my yeah, back buddy. from this dude right here. So yeah. we're happy you're here, man. Glad to have it's you. All right, here. boys. Uh, I think this caps up the uh, official end of year 2022. You bet. Uh, all hands team. Podcast. Oh wait. Oh shit. Chris has never got. Chris in never went down. Are you serious, dude? Yeah. Take Sorry. your take Sorry. your moment, Chris. We, we can't leave hey, you hanging, man. Affirmation here, guys. Chris, really apologize. Uh, you do deserve this. Thank moment. you so much yeah. for your patience. We You're all so appreciate patient. everything you do, man. I know I talked a lot already. <laughs> We've heard enough. <laughs> heard enough, guys. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I gotta go. I got a heart out an hour ago. Yeah, my heart out was well, like 45 minutes ago. Oh, shit. I did the lastly. Wrapping up here with El Travios. <laughs> All right. Take it away, Chris. Uh, El, El One, two, three, go. Yeah, t- what do you want to say, Chris? Chris? Day, I was thinking about uh, the charity ball was really a big moment this year. Gar, me and Linz. Next year, we're going the entire staff. Whew. Charity ball. Yes. That is a big moment for us. Yeah. It really gives us a chance to reconnect with the, the kids and kind of gives us a deeper purpose than what we are just doing. But I won't go with that. I will say that tonight really is the biggest moment for me of the entire year. 
we are just always pushing and pressing and we always have projects and the blog post is always due and every single week every single week it's always time (laughs) every week we are out of time (laughs) and it's urgency and it's constantly a big pressure like all the time and that's not to speak of the challenges that we face with the manufacturers or they're not even responding to us we're not going to get the fucking beard oil Supposed to be launched a year ago. Literally. Fired their ass. <laughs> all the things that happen. That's a whole different all story. The data, yeah. <laughs> it's just like a, a, a constant urgency. And we believe so hard. And we are so... Uh, accountable to our community. We are so accountable... Yeah. Yeah. to our community yeah transparent as well and the, we I, I believe that we do have a lot of transparency and so there's just enormous pressure all the time and at this moment right now when we're doing our end of the year podcast is the first I don't know how to say the first or the only time but I really feel at ease at this moment and I can't remember feeling at ease for a long time but I know that we have a badass staff team that we put our programs in place that we have everything or our upcoming emails and our marketing and all the things that we're doing and we've overcome so many challenges this year is outrageous daunting challenges and things that still have not been overcome and we still have to address but we are here right now at this moment and we are the long hairs and we've made it this far and it's the end of 2022, and it was a tough fucking year. Yep. But I feel more confident and more at peace than I have through the entire course of this year. And so Ooh. this moment right now is like my moment mm-hmm. for 2022. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sick. And I'm pumped to be here. And Tight. just the chance for us to hang out and Sick drink dog. beers and celebrate our successes a little bit and talk some shop and hang out in the holiday spirit mm-hmm. uh, is just a blessing right now. And love being here, guys. This is the this is the highlight of my entire year right at this mm-hmm. moment. Excellent, yeah. man. Yeah. Great way well, to Well, enjoy it for the next 24 hours because then we got... Four emails due and another blog next week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we need a few. We have a few left that would need to be. Uh, no, this is, uh, yeah. dude, no, seriously, that's awesome. I'm, and way to, way to lay it out. And, uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, like, um, that is the reality of what we all feel here. And that's just like our obligation to you guys and this community and to keep this going. Like, so at the end of the day, thank you guys. It's all it's all for you. It's because of you, and we are just gonna keep driving it for and do the best that we can mm-hmm. deliver for you. Great mm-hmm. cut, 2024. It's coming up next yep. year. That's a massive freaking thing on our on our table. Check mm-hmm. out thegreatcut.us, yeah. guys. Anything that you need, you know, you already know where to go. Longhairs.us. If you've watched this podcast this far and this video, you already know all the good stuff. Yep. And you should be. Uh, actually buying hair ties exactly. at this moment oh, <laughs> i was oh, actually really? gonna what you should be buying is the bundles stock. we have a new <laughs> lineup of our hair care bundles 31 percent off mm-hmm. really can't beat it anybody got anything else because uh we're about to end this thing well well i was just gonna say like um your day-to-day or week to week um in regards to us you know we use chat and um just pretty much every time you hear or read uh you know this is done like go all right like let's just you know it's this post is uh, approved approved for production production. all you just gotta love it right and then you check it out and you're just like dude nailed yes this is what i wanted to hear it's just getting it done uh correctly doing things right and then doing the right things, and um, I Forget actually have taken that more to heart as well. Uh, and I just love your reaction and your comments when we fucking do it. 
We fucking do it. We do it. We do it. And we do it right. (laughs) Before we go, there's... Not every guy with long hair needs to be an expert. (laughs) But there's a few things that every guy with long hair needs to know. And you can get those things with quick tips. So sign up at thelonghairs.us for all the things you need to know about taking care of your mane. All right, that's it. I, I had to get the quick. Gotta, gotta get the no, quick tips one. Off. It's going. Get these guys off the mic. Dude. Get out of here. Get off my show here. What a show. I love you guys. Get me out of here. I love you. I love you out there. Real appreciate Let's you guys. Go. See you.